Hi guys, welcome to Boxing Blocks and I'm the home of African Boxing and of, co of Combat Sport as well. Now, let's just get straight to the station. Um, this past weekend, Alex Pereira knocked out Jamal Hill in the first round. It was a brutal knockout. At the Soyuz reaction, literally said it all, bro. Like, at the Soyuz looked shook. Usman was there, by the way. But the Soyuz reaction went viral. What is Adesanya thinking right? What was he thinking after seeing that 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 knockout? But I have to say, this guy has something you call bombs in his hands. You know, I st I'm still in in shock how Adesanya was able to to stop Pereira. Of course, Pereira had already beaten him twice before, but it's just kind of amazing to see. Well, it's three one now, though. This is the moment Alice Pereira knocked out Jamal Hill and this was uh, Adesanya's reaction. He <laughs> looked pissed, shook, I don't know what it, what it was. Adesanya is not scared of anybody, but I think the fight game needs Adesanya. Um, what is next for Alex Pereira, in your opinion, bruv? Um, he wants to move up to heavyweight division. It's a two-weight division right now in the UFC, right? He wants to move up to heavyweight. So there are three fights possible against Ankalev, um, Easy, Adesanya, again, and Syria Gun in the heavyweight division. What do you think happens and who do you think he fights? And what do you make of Alex Pereira as a fighter? Do you think the hype is real? Tajabwe. My audio, is it good? Yeah, bro. I don't know if you okay, okay, okay. Hmm. So basically, let me say something. Alex, I can only guess Alex Pereira through Pereira, right? It's probably in the uh, in the um, two two thirty two thirty range, maybe maybe even less than that. You know, he's fighting guys guys um, probably in like who are walking around two hundred. I might not, I might even be wrong. I might even be heavier than that. Might be walking around maybe two forty. You know. Just, just based off on uh, his uh, the way he is, but he comes in around that weight. By the time he, you know, loses weight, he's he's down to he's down to his fighting weight class. But come fight night, he's definitely he's definitely bigger than the uh, than the other guys that are fighting, you know, in the weight class. So the issue is that he's able to retain you you. The more the, the more you lose weight, the less power you have. We can just we can all agree to, we can all we can all agree to that. You're drained. You don't really have as much strength. You know, um, everything endurance everything plays why plays into accordingly into how you how you are in the in the ring. But when you're well hydrated and you're in and and you come in well fed, well way uh, well hydrated and then just. Uh, 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 on all dynamics, just well properly, uh, 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 well properly nutrition. You're gonna you're gonna be stronger and faster than the guys who are supposed to lose that weight, you know, uh, who cut the weight and then but then they ballooned up, but they balloon up, which is not their actual walking weight. That's the issue. His actual walking weight he comes in at, so he's able to actually. Retain some of his strength and able to do this damage to some of these smaller guys. You know, let, let's let's be real honest. You know, and yeah, he that was a, that was a good knockout. That took that took out Jamal Hill. That was a, extremely fast. I wasn't expecting it, 
and uh, uh, I wasn't expecting it the way it should, uh, the way it went. You know, I was at least expecting it to go a bit, a bit, uh, a bit further down the distance for, uh, you know, to see a good, decent high, uh, a knockout. Let's, let's also be honest. Pereira has been active since he since he came into the UFC. He fought some good fighters back to back, and some decent fighters. Let me not say good. The only good one, or the only great one he fought was was Israel, right? And Israel just always, for some reason, oh, at, at the at the turning point of the fight, something happens to where Israel has the upper hand, and Eric Pereira was able to, you know, get a good shot in, and he was able to land that. But if you look at the if you look at the fight, first fight with Israel and Pereira, right? It looked like Israel when Pereira hit him. It looks like Israel was. It looked like Izzy wasn't hurt, but at the same time, he looked like he was trying to figure a way out to 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 reposition himself. But the ref stopped it. Whatever. Uh, same thing happened in his in in the, in, in the kickboxing, you know. But I'd say the next fight, but Israel was able to compose himself, and he actually. Knocked out Pereira. Okay, that is, I guess Pereira. You know the way he went down. Everything plays, like I said, everything plays into his uh, the the weight class and everything. Boom, that that one was done. Pereira knew I can't keep coming down and, and coming down to this weight class. I'm blessing Israel's fight. Israel probably walks in around like 190 something like that, around around closer to 180 something like that. But Pereira walks in a little bit he- a, a lot heavier than that, so he can't keep losing weight. He decides to go. He decides to go up to fight to go to light heavy. He does what he does. Fights these fighters, beats them, good. But when that, but I say, you know, Jamal Hill wasn't ready for that because Pereira has been good, has been actively busy. Jamal Hill has not. He has not been actively busy. Jamal Hill's last fight was, I can't remember me Thiago. I, I really can't remember. It was it was a while back and it was a, it was decision. It was, it was a, a decision loss. Or apparently, something like that. So I, after that, he, he, he could, when he when uh when uh Pereira was in, was was active, you could see he had a freaking gut. He wasn't you know he wasn't taking care of himself, you know until fight until you know, it, the fight was announced and he started he started training. That's not how it works. That's not how the fight game works. You got you you get paid to to stay in shape. You get paid to stay in the gym. That's what you get paid for. I'm not making excuses for Jamal Hill. He lost that fight. It is what it is. But he, but we, we all can't say that, um, you know, Pereira uh, uh, actually defeated a, a good fighter. No, I don't think so. Jamal Hill was okay in that fight. I'm not even okay. He was trash. Let me just say that he was trash. So I don't. I really don't. I'm not a big fan of that fight. Y'all yeah, to the next. But for him to consider heavyweight, nah, that's a whole nother division. That's a whole nother division. Uh, uh, all. All luck to him, because those boys in the heavyweight division is the reason why they're called heavyweight and they hit hard. I think Pereira goes up to that he- goes up to that heavyweight division. Yeah, but I'll John John thing. John Jones like is literally dominating the heavyweight heavyweight in, in the UFC. Yeah, of course, John Jones is dominating the heavyweight in the UFC. Nobody has yet to freaking uh, 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 offer Francis Ngannou. I'm pretty sure this guy he's still mad about it because he knows. Francis Ngannou versus John Jones would have been the biggest fight in UFC. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Dana White is going to reconsider. He's going to definitely going to reconsider. You know, bringing, uh, bringing him back and like, hey, let's work something out. Let's get this fight on with John Jones, okay? And I believe um, it's going to happen with Francis Ngannou. But, uh, but back to uh, 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 this guy, Alex. I believe Alex goes up to heavyweight. This is just my prediction. You know, he goes up to heavyweight. He he's not gonna be he's not gonna be as fast, okay? Because he's not he's gonna gain the weight unless he knows I gotta stay I gotta stay really at my at my walk around weight, which is fine, okay? But at the same time, he better make sure he knows how to hit hard because those boys in the heavyweight division they do not play, okay? And they could they could hit twice as hard, all right? And I believe um, if if he faces any of these any of these heavyweight, he he's definitely gonna get dominated. You know, and I and I that's that's just why I believe, okay. And I don't think it's gonna come that easy for him. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this. Uh, Adewale, are you there to give your take on this? Um, man, man, I I think 
Ty already broke it down. I can't even do say anything further about that fight. It was it was a um as far as um Israel's reaction, I think he might just have been, you know, shocked that the fight didn't go longer because that might be a disappointment to you know a group of fans they were expecting the fight to go longer but it did not so they are disappointed so that's my take on israel's reaction towards that and that's my take on the reaction times we appreciate your take on this guys you ready for my brothers adewale and tajabwe stay tuned for more exclusives right here bread back God bless you. You're so sexual and intellectual and you spend a